Hey, what's up soldiers? My name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire, and welcome back to another Call of Duty Zombies Top 10. Today we're going to be doing the Top 10 Worst Map Features in Treyarch Zombies History. Now, I asked you guys on Twitter to tell me the worst map features, and I got some great responses from you guys. If you ever want your voice to be heard in this series, I tweet out different topics all the time for these videos, so make sure you guys follow me over on Twitter at Greg FPS. So if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. And without further ado, let's jump right into the list. Coming in at the number 10 spot is going to be the astronaut on the moon. Now, this guy has been annoying me since Black Ops 1 for sure, and he really pisses me off for a multitude of different reasons. He will steal Jug, which can be really frustrating if that's the last perk that you bought, and he's going to teleport you somewhere random on the map, which is really, really annoying. Sometimes you can get blocked like when the excavator is literally digging in like tunnel six or something. I mean, this thing is really really frustrating and i've gotten teleported directly into the excavator and died because of it and a couple solo games i was playing i mean it's really really annoying so i think the best part about this though is the names that they have for the astronaut they actually have a name above them so like in black ops 3 you have some of the treyarch employees like kevin sherwood and jason Lundell, and then in like black ops 1 you could have friends on your friends list and their name showing for an astronaut so it definitely is pretty cool and the astronaut from moon comes in at the number 10 spot coming in at the number nine spot is going to be the pentagon thief on five now i guess this would be a bad map feature but at the same time i think it adds a level of difficulty to the map as well now yes it can be extremely annoying if he steals your gun and then you never end up killing him he will take your gun indefinitely which is always really annoying but the cool thing is if you kill him before he even takes anyone's gun in your game you get a bonfire sale so it only costs a thousand points to pack a punch and also if you kill him even if he takes a gun already then you will get your gun back and you get a fire sale so it's definitely kind of one of those things that's like high risk high reward if you end up killing him pretty quickly you can definitely get a good weapon usually from the fire sale and knowing my luck i'd probably get like ballistic knives on like round 20 so it doesn't help at all but then again i mean it's definitely really cool that you can pack a punch and only do it for a thousand points if you kill him so anyways the pentagon thief or Yuri from Ascension comes in at the number nine spot. Coming in at the number eight spot is going to be Die Rise. Now, Die Rise is definitely an interesting map to say the least. Now, you need to use the elevators to get all the way around and this can be sometimes an issue because some people don't really know how to use them properly and they don't pay attention whether it's going up and down. So if you don't pay attention, you have the possibility of getting killed very very easily and also falling down an elevator shaft uh, which is another great way to die on die rise as well so <laughs> the elevators are definitely a pretty bad map feature especially having to wait because sometimes like the perk will show up and then you have to wait for it to go back down so that you can hop on it to go up and it's always a little bit frustrating so i would definitely say that the elevators on die rise are a really bad map feature but at the same time like a lot of these map features are what makes the maps unique so it's not really too bad but i can understand the frustration for most of you guys who commented that over on twitter coming in at the number seven spot is going to be the monkeys on ascension now this is definitely one of the hardest things uh, about black ops one i'd say for like defending your perks and all that but still it's a really cool feature now basically once someone buys a perk on the map and you have power on then monkeys can spawn on the map as a special round and if a monkey touches any of your perks then you are going to only get a max ammo at the end of the round but if you protect all the perks and no monkeys touch any of your perks you get a free perk out of it which is really cool now also if a monkey hits the perk way too many times and you also lose that perk so for example if everyone has jug and the monkeys hit it too much everyone loses jug which can be really really annoying and it's really annoying when they steal stuff like quick revive when you're playing solo that's really really annoying now in this gameplay you probably already saw me go go down 
and that's because my teammates threw grenades and the monkeys throw them back and they can damage you and it was like four grenades getting thrown right at my feet just like i'm playing the veteran campaign in world at war so yeah i went down rip um yeah that's pretty annoying you can use matryoshka dolls though and the monkeys can't throw those grenades back so anyways the monkeys from ascension comes in at the number seven spot Coming in at the number six spot is going to be on transit, and this one is the Pack-a-Punch system. Now, this map feature is terrible on transit. Not only do you have to pretty much build everything, but you actually have to drop off a turbine where you turn on power. So that can be extremely frustrating because sometimes zombies can destroy your turbine without you even wanting them to which can be really frustrating usually you can just drop it and get out really quick and they don't really do too much damage to it which is usually pretty good but i just hate how like pack a punch ends up closing and you have to go and get another turbine eventually that can be really really frustrating on transit you shouldn't have to do it every single time i wish there was just like a power switch or something that would keep the door open but then again i can understand why they did it to make the map a little bit more difficult but at the same time like everyone already hates transit enough they didn't really have to make the pack a bunch system completely horrible and usually like when i play transit i don't even pack a bunch just because it's way too much of an inconvenience i'll just try to get like the ray gun or something from the box and then we'll be set and you have to get explosive kills if you're doing the easter egg anyways so it pretty much makes sense to just go for the ray gun from the box but then again i can understand why people would want to pack a punch and even i'm doing it in this gameplay so definitely the pack punch system on transit is completely awful and that is a horrible map feature and it comes in at the number six spot coming in at the number five spot is definitely one of the most annoying map features and that is the excavators on moon now the excavators are very essential to doing the easter egg because you have to get excavator pie to dig in tunnel six so that you can open up the egg that goes within the mpd in order to continue on the easter egg now the reason that this is so frustrating is because it's all randomized so it could dig in the biodome or tunnel 11 which can be really annoying and then you have to end up waiting even more rounds which can be extremely frustrating so a lot of people get really annoyed if you don't end up getting excavator pie directly away for tunnel 6 so i can definitely understand why this is a horrible map feature i think this one got a ton of comments from you guys so i can definitely understand that one and the excavators from moon come in at the number five spot coming in at the number four spot is going to be the denizens from transit now the denizens are literally my favorite zombie boss and if i've ever heard sarcasm in my life i would definitely say that that was pretty sarcastic i mean these things are so frustrating they claw at your face and you have to knife them off which can be so annoying and also if you're reviving a teammate and one jumps on you it stops the revive which is also really annoying i wish they added something where you could like some sort of like power up maybe that lasted for like 30 seconds and you're immune to any of the denizens on the map i think that'd be really really cool or maybe even a perk that would be awesome that's a really cool thing that they could have added now the denizens are really frustrating but once you get like a bowie knife i believe it's two knives with the bowie knife and then it's like one melee punch with the galva knuckles so they get off you pretty quickly if you know what you're doing but at the same time they're just so annoying and combined with other things we're going to be getting into in this list then uh yeah it's pretty bad so the denizens come in at the number four spot coming in at the number three spot is going to be mud now when i think of mud and i think of zombies usually i directly think about origins now we're actually not going to be talking about origins though for this specific thing because the worst mud is the mud room on shang now yes they're both bad and i i'm gonna categorize it as one thing but the mud on shang is so bad in the mud room you literally get stuck and it you walk so slowly zombies can even move faster than you can on this mud so you have to be really really careful that you're stepping on the tiles now sometimes especially if you're coming from like where you go down the water slide there is like no way to get the plates there to walk fast so you end up getting screwed over pretty badly which is usually 
extremely frustrating so that is definitely something that i agree with the mud is awful and even in the black ops 3 version of origins the mud is so bad you move so slowly it's way worse than black ops 2 origins so that had to be on the list and it comes in at the number three spot coming in at the number two spot is going to be a fog now when you think of fog and you think of zombies your first bet is probably about transit you're you're thinking to transit right away now there's actually a couple other maps that have some level of fog like for example on dog rounds usually most maps that have dogs will get a little bit foggy but also on call of the dead you can get fog as well which can be a little bit annoying now i would definitely say though that transit has the absolute worst fog and combined with everything else it just makes it absolutely terrible why sledgehammer ended up making the darkest shore is beyond me i don't even know why they thought it would be a good idea to add fog to a map it just makes it completely stupid when you can't see like five feet in front of you it's just so dumb and it really is a terrible map feature overall so fog had to be on the list at the number two spot all right guys so in this one we have one honorable mention and that is going to be from shadows of evil and it's actually wall running now wall running is a really annoying map feature and i completely understand why a lot of people don't like this one especially on shadows of evil where if a zombie is running across to get you it can block your wall run and then you fall to your death which is extremely frustrating this has happened to me multi a multitude of times so i can definitely understand why people don't like this at all but then again wall running isn't really too bad because most of the time you should be fine if you're like an experienced player and you know what you're doing so i would definitely say that wall running is pretty bad but usually if you shoot all the zombies on the other side then you're pretty much safe and you don't have to worry about that happening at all so wall running is an honorable mention a couple of people mentioned it so i figured i'd include it as an honorable mention all right guys and coming in at the number one spot for the worst map feature in call of duty zombies history is going to be the lava now lava on transit or any of the subdivisions of transit is extremely annoying because you get damaged a lot from lava especially if you stay in it for a little while and then combine that with getting hit by zombies i mean you're setting up yourself for disaster and i don't even know why treyarch decided to include lava i thought that was really really dumb and they haven't done it since which is really good and i can kind of understand why they do it because you blow up earth at the end of the moon easter egg which is understandable but at the same time it's just really really frustrating and i hate the lava so much it had to be the worst map feature for this video and uh, i definitely agree with everyone who said that so anyways guys that is going to be it that is going to be the top 10 worst map features in call of duty zombies history if you guys think i forgot any make sure to let me know down below and maybe i'll make a part two to this series so thank you guys for watching. My name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.